baby slide through in that drop top. Something about Benz looking cute. That's honest. Her and her friends, big blinks and snatch waist. Yeah, she brought the ain't no way. Somebody daddy ain't gonna give her the spins with her ends. Cause yeah, she did it. She did it again. A few more tracks and this time she bought friends. Big baby on her way up and showed the stats to a man's. Not salute the general group. TGLX got plans. Yeah. Damn, it's the Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Straight ahead, it's a class to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it'll be a great one between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Chargers. The winner gets a trip to sunny Arizona for Super Bowl 57. The AFC title game is underway. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Here we go. Now ETN to start the drive. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's by Lonnie Harrison. And the Chargers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Well, they certainly weren't afraid to let it fly early, and they hope that'll keep the defense honest and keep the offensive guys excited about getting back out there. They are in attack mode in this game. It did backfire a little bit. Now you're just hoping your defense can keep them off the scoreboard so you're not facing a deficit the next time you run out there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. After the interception, here's Stafford. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And they're going to get this up to midfield. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. From the 50 at Stafford. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second and five. Now it's Stafford. 
puts it on the carpet, it's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And I guess we're back to square one. A rocky, rocky start here. A turnover followed by a turnover. Not exactly what we expected going into the game, but I always wonder about the nerves and people starting, the emotions of the game. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to play out and for them to settle in. Let's hope that that's taken care of now. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. The man in motion is Brown. On second down, ETN once more. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll run with ETN. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Five yards on the play there. It's a drive will continue. So right after the defense gets you the ball on a takeaway and a fumble recovery of their own, you've got to reward them, don't you? You've got to stay out on the field, give them a chance to rest, and how about doing it the way they did it? Running the football and picking it up on third down. Yeah, would not have wanted to go three and out. They avoid that right there. Yeah, they avoided the glares as they went back to the bench, didn't they? I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll send Brown in motion right. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And that's incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. The Charger drive about to get going. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about it. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team, because now your defense has to make that stand up. On right, second down, Elliott once more. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Third and two, Stafford. Able to complete this to Chanel. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in a shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. The throw over the middle, taken in. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Adam Thielen, 81 yards. And the Charger.
Rangers are on the board first here in this AFC Championship game. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Garoppolo will lead the Patriots up with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. They'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. A good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. On second down, a run with ETM. Fighting through, and he's got space. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. On for the extra point is full. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Patriots 14. Chargers 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. King gonna look to bring it out. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't... Into a double team and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well, swarming to the ball here in the first half. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get it behind the line. Big Kenny Clark that time, pushing upfield to make the tackle for loss. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Often 
oftentimes are quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. On second down, ETN once more. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. down from the gun on third Garoppolo he'll drop this one off with ETM and a good job defensively they stop him short of the first at the 32 they'll get 11 but still a little short fourth down I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they get to him and force the fourth down. Garoppolo to throw for it on fourth. A rifle's one, and that's going to be intercepted. Desmond King picks it. There he goes, right side. And he brings this one back. It's a big six and a Charger TD. Well, turnabout is fair play, I guess. They had a pick six against them earlier. And now this defense, Charles, they get a pick six of their own. And for a moment, let's just set aside how it impacts the scoreboard because how about the response? One defense gets the pick six, the other comes back and matches it. These are two defenses that are kind of winning the game for their teams themselves. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Patriots take over first down 10 at their own 39 yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Now on second and 13, Garoppolo steps away to his left. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Garoppolo on first down. Screenplay. Here's ETN. And he's got Rome. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Travis Etienne, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is now 21-14. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. King going to look to bring it out. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Charger drive about to get going. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Alert! Thank <laughs> you. 
To throw once more on second and 10. Stafford. And he completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, Stafford. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Pats will take over possession here up at the 44. Here we go. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. It's caught by Aguilar. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A shotgun snap, and again to ETN. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Garoppolo to throw on third and one. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. There's Garoppolo on first and 10. On the move to his left. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving that. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report. Coach? Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. King going to look to bring it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Charger drive about to get going. And they have work to do in this second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. From the 29, Stafford. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 39 yards there. A big one. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. This guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. Hey, 5 
And middle, middle, middle. Middle, middle, middle. Look at that. On first down, Stafford here. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Patriots are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 74 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed. Not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. On first down, Garoppolo. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. Only able to gain a couple there, and that's going to bring up second down. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackle and held it to an okay game. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Garoppolo now. Forced out to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try to put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try to put the football in. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. A 10-yard pickup, but it's enough for a Charger first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? A first down carry by Elliott. And he's got some space here. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott. 66 yards. And the Chargers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The Pats at the line ready to go. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Buying time to his left. Oh, they intercept Garoppolo for the third time. 
Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. A handoff left, Elliott. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They go to Elliott again. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 104 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this AFC title game. But a great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. To throw is Stafford. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Lewis Seen. And the Pats are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. Here we go. One quarter remains until we crown the AFC champion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and nine. To throw is Garoppolo. Completes it to Aguilar. And all the way to the 25 before he's hit and dropped. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A good pick up there, a 22. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. So the sack of Garoppolo. And now what can they come up with on third and long? Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before, and right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field, so play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more, but a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. Tackle there by Lewis Seen. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They never went crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second and nine, Stafford. And this is going to be intercepted. 
picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Patriots are going to have it here at their own 15. Well, all I can do up here is just shake my head. I mean, six interceptions. I cannot imagine what he's thinking between the ears right now. Well, just think of how it is for his teammates because after the first few, you know they're going over to him. Hey, we'll get him next time. Now they're probably a little bit frustrated. If you're a receiver, you're thinking to yourself, any ball that's in the air, you become receiver and defensive back. You've got to go compete for the ball so that you don't get another one picked off. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's good for 28 yards. Here we go, here we go. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Garoppolo. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. Pass the 20. And he brings this one back. It's a big six and a Charger TD. In a tie game, fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. And they'll be stopped right at the 30 on a play that started back at the 15. They pick up 15. Being chased out left. Finding space at the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Here we go, so here we go. signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And that's complete to Brown. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Got the defense on their heels. Two first downs in a row and now a pickup of eight. Here we go, here we go, here we go. To throw is Garoppolo. Dancing to his left. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. And the Chargers have just about sewn up this football game. Well, to be frank, CD, this is getting tough to watch. I mean, you feel for him, but six interceptions, that's at a whole new level. It's not a good level. It makes it tougher and tougher to come up with ways to try and support him. But you have to as a team because you can't just throw your quarterback aside. You're going to need him later on, but it reminds me of a time that a former defense coordinator of mine told me he was in a game where his quarterback threw seven interceptions. So after the 6-1, one, one of the defensive players went to the quarterback and said, here's what you do. Throw the ball to the other team, and let's see if our receivers can pick it off and turn it into, into a completion. That's just mean. I don't know that I'd go down there and say that to him right now. Probably pretty <laughs> fragile. Set. 
So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll try to run some clock now with that. to do next. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Stafford now to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On is the Chargers punter now. As he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your play. And that's intercepted yet again. And that could be the backbreaker. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Yes, folks, that is his third interception. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Elliott, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Elliott. And he'll only get this to about the 35, well short of the line to gain. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. But things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it. And now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drop. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up but they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Some coaches like to take the short or more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Garoppolo the throw. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect, incomplete. To give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Two, three, two. 
One final try now for Garoppolo. This to possibly force OT. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. 